This discussion is about the uses of sidewalks from the book The Death and Life of Great American Cities by Jane Jacobs. The book that Jacobs wrote is about the attack on the capitalized modern city planning. The chapter that we're going to talk about is, a, is about the importance of contact within the city. The idea of contact is not to be in each other's hair. Instead, it is just by knowing each other and to avoid apathy. Contact is not answered by creating a single massive project like shopping malls and amusement parks. Retail areas or entertainment areas should be replaced simultaneously. Having large sidewalks are not enough to create this sense of contact. Along with the sidewalks, there should be a proper tambayan place where people can buy soft drinks and sit on a spot and start chit-chatting, working, or relaxing. But the problem here is that cities have a hard time establishing contacts because of privacy. Privacy is precious in cities. It is indispensable. Perhaps it is precious and indispensable everywhere, but most places you cannot get it. A good city street neighborhood achieves a marvel of balance between its people's determination to have essential privacy and their simultaneous wishes for differing degrees of the contact, enjoyment, or help from people around. This balance is largely made up of small, sensitively managed details, practiced and accepted to casually that they are normally taken from granted. Togetherness is a fittingly nauseating name for an old ideal in planning theory. This ideal is that if anything is shared among people, much should be shared. Togetherness apparently, a spiritual resource of the new suburbs, works destructively in cities. The requirement that much shall be shared drives city people apart. But having a balance between privacy and sharing, togetherness will eventually work for a city. This technique, however, is applicable only to the high and middle income families because for those who live on the slums, it is of different technique. The slums have unstable population of residents that are ready to get out of that place if they were given the opportunity. These people can create the sense of togetherness because it is overpowered by the survival instinct that in the end produces chaos in the area. Jacobs has suggested that instead of creating a one-time big-time renewal project, they should be receiving gradual help and support until opportunities sprout in their area and that make them want to stay in the neighborhood. Jacobs also discussed public characters. These people are the storekeepers, barkeepers, hot dog stand vendors, and the like. They serve as the eye of the public spaces thus ensuring safety. Stationing policemen only gives a short span assurance of safety because they are only in a street name or block number basis, not like the vendors who recognizes our sidewalk characters and routines. Having a public character ensures safety and thus creating trust. Trust is the fundamental element that should be achieved by cities to have efficient open spaces sidewalks, and eventually regenerating cities. All in all, contact is important to make sidewalks serve their purpose as a public space. Contact is not achieved by creating a single element project. It is achieved on having cottage-scale business spread spontaneously on sidewalks. Contact is not about telling your life story to others, but by just showing that you exist. Creating the idea of contact doesn't hinder on privacy and safety. Instead, it helps us achieve it.